welcome to another video and in this video we are doing duos of ho ho and i did this on live stream so what i did as i'm doing this with hundo hunter david trang very common duo partner and we're using the lobby trick and i decided since like my version of the duo is on live stream it's very annoying to uh to edit and cut since it's like five hours long i decided to take our three best uh duos uh, with with Hundo Hunter and um, and uh, actually show them side by side and these are all like 39 41 42 uh, second left attempts and you'll see here what they all have in common is that for some reason <laughs> one to the right is like way ahead um, uh, they all, what they all have in common is that they have we have really good RNG uh, in all of them it's actually like kind of difficult to follow all three hopefully you guys find it interesting a little side by side comparison you'll see on the one on the right uh it was actually a very aggressive brave bird it did brave bird within the first 10 seconds and we're actually able to survive with one hp to get off the the stone edge which 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 caused it to be have really good rng and you'll see here on the one on the left so it basically did this in kind of like chronological order as well and you'll see we're all what well, the idea the goal is to have the brave bird hit you after you've done the stone edge uh, because what ends up happening is that the stone edge then charge it over charges ho ho and then it does brave bird it's less likely to do brave bird right away in the future uh in the near future uh because it wouldn't have enough energy so you'll see here and we're fainting at like different times you'll see the one on the right is fainting much quicker uh than the other two which which you'll notice as as we progress along You'll see there a very aggressive brave bird again. We're doing a stone edge. Um, Trinitar really game changing uh, rock attacker. And you know, someone asked me early on, like, what happens if Tyranitar gets the rock moves and all this stuff? I'm like, man, if it gets rock moves, it's already the be like the best dark attacker and all that stuff. Like, now is like the best rock attacker. Um, but you know, lo and behold, it uh, it got it. So we're about. Um, two stone edges away from flipping it to to yellow and so you'll see here that's kind of bad rng on the left 170 172 and then in the middle actually 168 so actually not that great rng but you'll see here that was really good rng we survived like one hp lost zero health i uh, lost zero energy because we fainted as soon as we did the uh stone edge, which is like the ideal uh, way of, of expending your energy because then all future attacks will then go into the future stone edges so it's all looking pretty close i think the middle one has really excellent rng on the back half uh, so it's all looking pretty good let's see when we hit uh red so we're about two stone edges away from from hitting red and you'll see here uh the the one in the middle like we're racing let's see if we get it off we're gonna be able to survive one more extra century and then there you go, we got off the stone edge and then we faint to extra century, which is really, really good. Um, a little bit of waste energy on the right. And uh, yeah, we're about one stone edge away for everybody from hitting red. So red on 108 on the left, and then it's red in the, on the left and then in the middle it finally turned red. So in the middle one, we knew that we were behind um, compared to the, to the other runs. Uh, and on the, the left is an excellent example where we had like really very passive ho ho. Uh, now it's all starting to catch up and see that was really good RNG, one HP left, and then um, it's looking really really good on all of them. It's kind of hard to tell who's ahead. Looks like on the right we're slightly ahead on HP. Um, let's see how it plays out. And then it look gonna be a little bit of waste of energy on the right. Um, because well, actually let's see i don't remember if we get off this oh right here on the right i was like oh man if it was like one more extra sensory we would have got off that stone edge and it probably would have been like 45 seconds left and we would have won so we're like a little bit behind on the right or it's a little caught up uh because it wasn't able to it had a lot, a lot of waste of energy you'll see here stone edge there finishes off and you'll see david practically faints and then we actually uh, if you notice on the left um, David was, I, we hit the stone edge and like, oh, it's over and at uh, like 45 seconds. Uh, but it ended up being not the case. So hopefully you guys like this video. Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, this is just a good example of like three different cases of good RNG and how the good RNG can play.
throughout the, the different situations. So again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, uh, subscribe, and I will see everyone in the next video.